In this video, we are going to be looking at creating a document based on a template. A template is a predefined layout for a document, and Microsoft has many different templates that you can use. The most common template that people use is called the default template, and that is a template that is opened as soon as you open Microsoft Office. So let's try that. If you remember, in the last video, we looked at creating documents by double clicking on the icon. That opens up the application. Just close down the task pane. That opens up the application with a document ready for you to type. This document, you can see the edges of the document there, has been created using the default template. We can always create a new blank document based on the default template by clicking on the create new blank document icon. Clicking on that icon once with the left mouse button opens up a new document ready for you to type again. You can see how we've got two different documents open. Close that one down. Now I created that new blank document by clicking on the new blank document icon. There is another way of doing that, and that is using the file menu. If I click on the file menu and then drop down to new, you can see the icon is very similar to the one that we've just been using. When I click on new, it doesn't immediately give me a new document. What it does is open the new document task pane at the right hand side. And on this task pane, you can see the blank document. So clicking on that word or icon, and you can see that we can click on it because the cursor changes from an arrow or an eye beam to a blank to, to a, a hand. That means it's something to click on. So when I click on that icon, I get my new blank document. So that was create a new blank document using the icon, which gives you an immediate document. Create a new blank document by clicking on the file menu, drop down to new. That opens up the task pane from where we can get the blank document. But there are other things there for you to play around with, other types of templates that you can use. For example, there are templates on Microsoft's website. If you click on that icon, it takes you to their website and you can download different types of templates onto your computer. But the one that I need to show you is the On My Computer. When I click on that icon, it opens up the Templates dialog box. And I can create then a document based on the blank default template, which is the one that we've just used. I can create XML documents, I can create a web page, I can create an email message. But look at all these tabs running across the top. If I want to create a, a memo, for example, I could click on memo, and there's a range of different memos to use. And we get a preview in the preview window of what that memo will look like. So if I want to use the professional memo, I select it, then click on OK, and it creates me a memo template that I can just click in and modify the details. We'll just have a look at that again. That was File, New. We looked at blank documents, but also templates on my computer. And that opens up the templates dialog box, and there are lots of different templates for you to use. Some of these tabs have wizards in them. If you select a letter wizard, for example, and then OK, 
it will take you through a series of questions that you can answer the answer to. For example, here we have the letter wizard. What do we want to do? Send one letter or to a mailing list? I just want to send one letter and then OK. And it asks me, do I want a dateline? I can say yes or no just by ticking in the box. And I can choose the format of the date. What kind of design do we want? And it gives us a little preview as we make our choices. Depending on what's installed on your computer. We can decide what the justification is. For example, you can see two lines coming down, nice straight lines down either side of the writing. We can change that to give different layouts. We can then move through these tabs answering the other questions, or we can just click the next button and it will do it for us. Who's the letter to? The address. Obviously, I'm not filling these in totally. What's the salutation? Dear Ron Taylor, or perhaps you want dear sir or madam. Dear sir sounds about right. Then next. So we're just working our way through the wizard, filling in the bits that we want to fill in. That'll do for there. So we're just working through the wizard. Deciding whether or not to have a return address, for example, whether I want to put my job title in, and then finish. It then creates you the letter based on the information that you gave. In regards to your letter <clears throat> to Ron Taylor at Cockermouth. So that was creating a document using either the blank document or templates on my computer and then we can use any of these layouts that we like the look of or we can use a wizard and it will ask us some questions and create the letter for us. Of course you then still have to go on and fill in the main bulk of your document. So I'll create a fax, click on OK and there's my fax document all ready for me to go in and just modify the information. That's creating a document using templates.